you. Yeah, I think that we started slow. We considered an easy goal. After that, we changed our formation on 4-3-3. We changed on 4-4-2 in a, a, a diamond shape. Then we scored two goals. We, I think that we played in the first half better than. In the second half, we, our goal it was to score the next goal. But um, I also have to give a lot of credit to the opponent, how they came to the second half. They pressed us really well. And we went too much deep. So I was uh, screaming, uh, telling that we should go more out. But the opponent, I think they did it very well. Even the 2-2 two -two that they scored, that I think that the ref gave a great gift to them. But I don't want to give um, or try to make some excuses because Chiefs deserve the second goal. Because they played well. They had great opportunities, they didn't score. In the end, they got a great gift. And now my, my, and now my question is, if a coach makes a small mistake or a, a big one, he can lose the job, right? If a player makes a bad mistake, he can also lose the job. What about if the ref make a bad choice. What then? Nothing. And this is what I feel we should talk about it because I was uh, talking about it many times. I don't want to blame anyone here. I just ask we have to improve or they have to improve the game. Because it's not just two day. It's many games that you see a mistakes me mistakes also the last game cheaper when they said it was offside it was not an offside so we have to talk about these kind of things again nothing to blame anyone everyone makes some mistakes also me everyone but how, how we should improve what we should, should do because this kills many teams now we lost two points but okay I also have to give a lot of credit to my team, how they stick us a team together. Now we scored, because the last weeks everybody was like uh, writing about we didn't score, we didn't score, but we got a point. Today we scored two goals, but we got what? A point. So it's like, yes, we are happy about it, yes, we are happy. We, yes, we have to improve to score more, but um, it's not easy to come to Chiefs and get a point. So it's a fantastic club with a fantastic team, great coach. And of course, we are happy to get every point that we can get here. Yeah, and I just wish Chiefs all the best and of course, we have to prepare ourselves for the next game at home and we will do our best to get there the maximum points. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Now it's uh, your turn, members of the media, to ask the question. First, your name, name of your publication, and the question. Be watching hands, very less than anybody. There. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, well, from the CBC, uh, coach, um, finally you get to score. <laughs> um, I've watched some few matches where unlucky sometimes, but w what, what, what does this mean? At least finally getting to, to score after uh, seven matches. A um, bit of pressure now you can um, concentrate on this getting a win um, going on from here. And also, I wanted to ask you, Guterres. Um, uh, I mean, that um, match, um, 
winning save. W winning save, yeah, because for you that, um, and, 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 I, and I think this is also an in, in inspiration for him, home, from him, also having been here with the national team as well. Okay, so the first questions, of course, we are always happy if we if we score because it's a bigger chance to win. But we had also the, the last game a great opportunity when we got the penalty, but we didn't score, so we also lost two points. So um, yeah, about uh, Melusi, I think I don't have to talk so much because he talks on the on the field. He played well. He do a, a, a good job, and I said it before. For, for me, he is one of the best uh, keepers. But of course, without the team, he will also struggle. So the team in front of him, they also do a great job with uh, a given. And yeah, and I have to give a lot of credit always to the team because as an individual, you cannot achieve anything. So everyone needs the a teammate, and I'm just happy to to be the coach for this uh, wonderful club, TS Galaxy. There's a question there. Coach Darin here from Jesse Times. Um, this first half, I think, was half an hour. It took off from Guane for Parker with that injury, and secondly, Parker now scores his first goal, 36 years old in this former club. How much does he still have to give um, based on what you've seen um, in training and in the few matches that he's played for the club so far? Oh, um, Lifa was not injured. He went out because he didn't came well into the game. And I don't have to, to and I don't have the time to to um, to uh, watch this. Because everyone has to start from the first minute to be on the top. If somebody can't be on the top, then he will be replaced. Because it's not fair to, to the other teammate. But Lifa, he played the last two games well. So this game, he didn't come uh, very well into the team or into the game. So we had to change uh, something and we were one nil down. So I had to put a second striker and have to change the formation to get more pressure up front. And of course, luckily, they changed, um, they, they changed, uh, give us two goals where we are happy about it. And of course, Parker, he trained well. He is an absolute role model in every, in every um, space in every step what he is uh, doing and I'm really happy to have him in my team and hopefully now he will score more goals. Thank you coach. Last two questions that we get our coach ready. Thank you. Coach Tsepo from ENC8. Coach you have 11, 11 games, um, two wins. I remember when you started, you started very well without in terms of not losing a lot of matches earlier on. But now 11 games, two wins. Um, your thoughts on so far how the team has fared in the league? Thank you. Um, if you want me to start from the startup against Amazulu, we had to get two uh, penalties clear. We didn't get. Then we won Sundowns, then we won Super Sport, then we played away a draw where we had also our chances against uh, Chippa. We were close to win. But we didn't. It was also a draw. The last week we had to win. If you have a penalty, you should make it, and it will be like two more uh, 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 points. Today, with a little bit more luck, you win also. Then you have four more points. Of course, it will be uh, really great. But um, 12 points after 11 games, I would like to say it's like okay. But of course, it's a huge step that we have to improve and we will but of course it takes time we cannot be from after one year uh, 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 sundowns because it takes time and also we have a lot of young players in our squad i think we have five and and it will come even more now because i like to work with this kind of young 
players they want to improve and it's a great uh, goal and yes and of course then it's not not easy to 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 get on the top but it's our goal also of course we have also our goals we said it before that we would like to be on the top eight and this is still our goal the season is still long we will and we have to improve and i'm absolutely sure with this uh, character that we have in our team that we will improve even more and then we will bounce back Check one, two. Last one from Tomar. Tim Bashan, I'm from Sports Coach. Um, the, the FIFA break is coming. Uh, how are you planning to use that? And with regards to how the team has been playing, how are you planning to use that? And with this match that you just played, clearly you've lost two points according to what uh, you've just said. But it, do you think you could have? done better had it not been for the mistakes that you pointed out from an, an individual in the middle of the park? Um, I think that the football matches are based by mistakes. But our goal is that we don't do the same mistakes all over again and again. And it's of course to today again. Um, it was not a, a, a foul. We, I got a goal, did the first goal, we have to defend better. But this is always a process. You learn from your mistakes and we will. And then try not to do the same again. And yes, of course, every coach would be happy to be on the top three now. But the reality is that um, we have to now show that we are a team that we can fight back, come back stronger. And I am absolutely sure and a lot with, with a lot of uh, confidence that we will. Now we, we have to think about the next game to get the maximum points to try our best. It will be a tough game. After that, we will start to talk or think about the pre-season. Coach Romovic, thank you very much. All the best in your next game against the Kukuni at home on the 30th of October. Have a good night and travel safe. Thank you also to all of you guys. Have a nice night and enjoy the evening and to and a lot of luck to you guys also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, Galaxy. Thank you very much.